welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. Today I'm your host David and we're going to be telling you how to present over a Chromecast. Now but before we do that, we want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to press the notification button. That way then you can go get the latest updates when we release our videos, usually on a Monday and a Friday. So, let's get into it. Recently I was delivering a training session and I needed to present onto a TV. Unfortunately I'd left my HDMI cable at home so I wasn't able to use my laptop to connect my laptop to the TV. But I had a Chromecast in the cupboard. So pull that out, set it all up and away I was able to go. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I done that. It is not difficult at all. So there are a couple of ways of doing this and I'm going to show you both ways. And to do this you're going to need to have two programs installed. First one is PowerPoint, obviously, which I know you're going to have. Second of all, you're going to need Chrome, Google Chrome, the browser. Now, most people these days will have Google Chrome. It is the most popular browser. If not, you can just go to go onto Edge or Explorer or Safari and download Google Chrome. Or if you just type into Google Search, Google Chrome, and it will you will get the option appear. What you need to do is press download and install. It will install, etc., etc., and the way you're able to go. So. What we then need to do is once we are got Google Chrome installed, is we need to press that a cast button. Now you may or may not have this at the moment. If you don't, it's quite easy to activate. You gotta press the three little dots to open up the menu and scroll down and you'll see cast. Press that and then that will open the cast box, which will in turn create the cast little cast button there as well. So press the cast button and you will then get the cast box come up. Now this cast box allows you to cast to any Google device. So for instance, you can see here I've got a, a bedroom, I've got a Chromecast for the bedroom, I've got a speaker in the kitchen, a speaker in the living room. So what I want to do is I want to cast to my bedroom. So that's going to be my TV. Now if I click on cast to, I'm going to have the option as well of if I want to cast a tab or cast a desktop. So what I want to do, so the first way I'm going to show you is by casting the tab. So if I press cast tab and now I press bedroom, that is going to cast what is on that particular tab to the TV. Okay, so if I press the X, that will just hide that. So now everything that you see on this on this browser screen now is going to, I'm going to cast. If I open up a new tab, it won't cast that. Okay, so you got to be careful of that. Stay on the one page. Now you'll know how you're casting is because up in the top on the tabs you will see a blue little box like a TV. That's the cast button. So that's to say you're casting. If you want to stop casting, you can just press the cast button again. The box will appear and you can press the stop button. Okay? So you can open the presentation online via on PowerPoint Online in Office 365 that slideshow and then that will then cast that tab. Now the other way I mentioned was, let's say you're not using Office 365, you're not using PowerPoint Online because you don't have access to them for whatever reason, you're using PowerPoint on the desktop. Now there is a way of casting this as well. So again we're going to press the Chromecast button. And this time on the Cast tab, the drop down, we're going to choose Cast Desktop. Once we press Cast Desktop, you'll see now it's changed it up here to say Cast Cast Desktop. We're going to select bedroom and now you will see this box appear which it's asking you if you've got more than one screen which screen you want to cast. I'm going to choose screen 2 so it's going to choose screen 2 and you can also get the option of sharing the audio as well so if you've got videos in your presentation they will play and the sound will come through the TV as well or your speakers whatever system you're using. So if I press share now that is starting to share. You can see, you can see I just press the X button and it'll close that box. Now instead of casting the browser window, I'm casting everything on my screen or everything on my desktop. So if I now go to my PowerPoint F5 to go into mode, now I am casting everything you see on the, on the, on the screen here now. Okay? There is no... Now you may be wondering, like, how you have a Chromecast but not have like, cables and stuff like that. You do run into situations where you forget cables. Um, Chromecast, like I, I always have a Chromecast in my bag because I use it with connecting my Android phone, I can cast photos, etc, movies to TV screens, etc, no matter where I'm going, if I'm staying in a hotel or whatever. So I've generally always got my Google Chromecast with me. It tends to be smaller than my 
the HDMI cables and VGA cables and everything else like that. So guys, we hope you enjoyed the tutorial today that has unfortunately come to an end. If you liked it, please let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Remember, we publish videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time guys, goodbye.